Let's talk about VR and nausea again for a minute, because I know people love to love to give me crap on this one. All right, but uh, my friend uh, Wagner James Au uh, recently posted this article: uh, Vision Pro launch. Companies must talk about XR, nausea, and gender. And he's proposing that um, gender plays a part in nausea in uh, VR and AR. And my response to him was, "That's kind of like complaining that the food is bad on the Titanic, and that's why the cruise was bad." There's a bigger issue. Everybody gets sick. I know, I know you don't. I know you don't. You know, much, you know, because the younger generation is going to tell me, oh, I don't, we don't get sick. Yeah, yeah, you know. And when you're three, you use diapers and you don't use them anymore. Yeah, wait till you get older. Let's see how it goes. But either way, all right, it is some level of issue. And so the question then was, was why would Facebook pivot its whole company around this knowing that there's some large percentage of the population that will get sick, all right? So ignoring what you think about my feelings on how many people get sick or don't get sick with VR, I think that's a fair question when you want to be the mass market biggest thing. Why would Mark Zuckerberg make this bet? Because he wants a platform. He doesn't have a platform, right? It's all of these people. This is what they do. They want a kingdom. And since there's, these kingdoms are already taken, and, he's, and Mark Zuckerberg's got kingdoms, but since he wants more kingdoms, he's got to make some up, right? Sam Altman, all of a sudden, AI is going to be the biggest thing ever because he wants his kingdom, right? You can't. You can't, he can't become Instagram. Instagram already exists. I mean, it's kind of like the Australians in the 40s. Hey, I want to be president. I want to own a country. Let's make up New Zealand. Yeah, hey, hey, we'll even let a woman be president. Eh, what does it matter? It's not a real country, right? Like you do these things because you just want to have that kingdom. You don't really care about the reality of it, right? We saw this with Web3. We saw this with all this NFT crap, right? It's all of these people aren't reinventing something or they're not inventing something new. They're just reinventing the old thing and saying like, hey, but now I'm the toll keeper. And so that's cool, right? And so Mark Zuckerberg thought, oh man, we really missed out uh, on iPhone, on phones, right? Because iPhone and, and Tim Apple took over. So what can they get? Well, how can they get their piece of the pie, right? And so well, we're going to bring a new platform and then we're going to say VR is going to be the new phone. And that's all that is. Like, it's not. It's never going to be the mainstream biggest thing ever. AR is never going to be the mainstream biggest thing ever. People don't want things on their face, right? You can beam it in your eyes or whatever. Like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right? But, like, this is why these companies do it. And this is why they get the hype cycle going so much. And this is why I call out the people doing this fake hype cycle stuff because that's when it's not real, right? They're not really looking at this and going, where does this really live? It's kind of like AI right now. Someone on this on TikTok was like, hey, hey, oh my God, Sam Altman says uh, GPT-4 sucks. Oh my God, he what he must have seen for GTP, GPT-5, uh, whatever. Uh, first of all, GPT-4 does not give us an indicator of what GPT-5 will be since they don't understand a lot of why things work the way they work. They can't actually be like, hey, let's make this better, right? They're going to try to experiment with things, but we've seen the big jump. Remember how technology goes, right? It's a big jump, and then it's like, yeah, a lot of the same, right? Don't, don't expect it. Don't expect it. And GPT-6, like, oh, my God. General intelligence isn't coming. This is all a pipe dream, right? All right, yeah, you can argue with me on that again. You'll be wrong, or I'll be dead before it matters. Because, uh, uh, yeah, how's, how's your self-driving car going? All right, I oh, mean, I had a whole video I was going to do on, on a, uh, how annoyed I am about these hucksters. Okay, but this all ties together, right? Because they need to build this up. They need to scare us. They need to, like, oh, so, like, okay, so let's look at Sam Altman again. Why would he say that Chat Ch GPT-4 sucks? Well, first of all, because he's in a lawsuit. And he has to say it's not general intelligence because Elon Musk, the idiot, suing him for breaking a contract that they never signed a contract. I, if you sign you sign something and it's a contract, then it's a contract. If you say it when you're really high as a kite and go, bro, uh, that's not a contract. Just saying, just saying, just saying. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. You should listen to me. All right. But um, uh, I'm not a lawyer, so you can't really get mad at me for that one. Right? You can't sue me for not being a lawyer and saying, I, whatever. All right. I don't know if I'm a lawyer. I don't know if I can be sued. Uh, yeah, take legal advice from me, though. You should. Uh, Right. But right. Uh, like, so he has to, he has to, he has to downplay it there, but also he's trying to raise more money, right? He's trying to raise a trillion dollars because he needs to fabricate things because only if he had better chips, boy, what's coming next, boy, what's coming next. Right. And it's always going to be the, the scam with these guys. It's always this fake hype because boy, if you just gave me more money, if you gave me more control, if you gave me more data, if you gave up your privacy, you'd get so much more. Right. No, no. Right. Facebook sucks. Instagram sucks. You remember Instagram used to be like, hey, I went to the park. Here's a picture, friend. And now it's like, 
I'm going to monetize this and make a living off these pictures of my park visits because I go to parks all around the country. I don't know. I don't know. Right? But like, they've just, they've just destroyed these things in their search to become kings, right? And so, it, just ignore it. It's just crap. And so why does Mark Zuckerberg promote VR and waste billions? Think of what he could have done with those billions and billions and billions of dollars. He wanted Meta because he wanted to have his mark. He his mark, his his place, right? He he needs to be the king. He needs to be remembered, right? All these guys are so egotistical and crazy that they just need to be the king of something and have everyone look up to them and worship them, right? And make even more money because you can't own half a Hawaiian island. You need to own the whole thing, right? Because that's what Larry Ellison did, right? These guys are all scumbags, seriously. Uh, so that's why they do it, though. That's why they do it. Because they just want to be—they just want to be the one that's in charge, right? It's always like, a, well, we're going to be the YouTube of VR, or we're going to be the, yeah, no, you're not, no, you're not, All right? And Google, Google, Google bought YouTube, and they've got Android, right? Like, they're—they've got their kingdoms, but that's not enough. They need more kingdoms, right? So they're going to make up more, and they're just going to keep making it up, and they keep being the ones on the toll of it. Like, hey, as long as we extract our toll on this, be it your data, be it, be it monetary, man, that's—that's that's what we want. Right. And so that's why there's so much hype about this. And that's why you need to be realistic about it. And so like Andreessen Horowitz, uh, the investment company, uh, Mark Andreessen, you know, he's all, oh, my God, the press is negative about the, the technology. They're not. Oh, my God. Everybody's like over the top love of the technology. Nobody's being critical of it. I mean, Kara Swisher just released a book 20 years of, hey, I, I don't matter anymore. So now I'm going to tell you about how some tech bro was kids shower I went to 20 years ago I'm gonna give it to them right instead of actually calling them out when it's happening right so like they've been they've lived in this world where this is all just praised and loved right now Andreessen Horowitz is pissed because like all of their crypto god they made the dude write a book about how their crypto stuff so amazing but just yeah it's not right it's all just crap it's all just crap <sighs> oh yeah I don't need to drink coffee today now <laughs>